In Pit Lane is proudly brought to you by Dino Tech by Dino Dynamics. For your nearest workshop, visit our website. And with the support of the Ramada Resort, Phillip Island. Welcome back. You're watching In Pit Lane. Well, as we said, coming back this week is the Sandown 500. And our guest, well, we had the uh, we had some stuff from Le Mans earlier. He's also been a regular at Le Mans over the years as well. This is his first Sandown 500 from Gary Rogers Motorsport. Please welcome Alex Premer. Alex, welcome to In Pit Lane. Hello. Good evening, both. Now, tell him, just having a look at the Le Mans stuff, first of all, I mean, a bit homesick at all? Uh, no, I'm not sick, definitely not, because, uh, yeah, I have uh, some really good memory in Le Mans with Audi, definitely, because I was there uh, driving the R10 and the R15. It was really good uh, to be there with them, and then I work as well with uh, Team Eureka and Team Hawk Racing. And, uh, yeah, no, I'm not missing uh, France for now. I would say I'm really enjoying to be in Australia, especially in Melbourne, because the city is really nice, yeah. So how did this all happen? I mean, how, where did it start to suddenly be racing overseas, DTM, Le Mans series, and now suddenly you're, you're here in Australia racing VA supercars? How did it happen? Yeah, well, it started uh, last year when I was in Zouai, in sport car. I talked with uh, Simon Pagno. He's a really good friend because we were driving in Formula Renault in 2002 together, and he was my teammate, so we had really good uh, uh, links together. And... Um, it was the week after Gold Coast, and he said, oh, okay, Alex, maybe you should look at um, going, or go, or maybe go to go to Australia and to have some talk with uh, Gary Roger, maybe to have a test, or, and then what's going on? And then uh, I've been in contact, in contact with Gary, and the first contact has been quite good with, um, as well, uh, uh, Pierre Luigi RC, and uh, we were really good contact, and... Uh, well, I was in holiday with the kids and with the family. I was in the, in the winter skiing on the Alps, so it was really good, really fresh comparing. And Gary called me and said, oh, okay, next week you have to come here. I said, oh, that's good news. So then I came here in Melbourne and I went to Winton to try the car. It was a really good try and uh, the car really enjoyed me to, to come here. And yeah, we, we find the, the deal uh, in one week. So when I flew, bla f uh, flew back to overseas, in Europe, I say, oh, in the, the plane, I say, oh, it's a really big move because I have a family and I have to move all my plans that I was supposed to do in France because I was already in contact with uh, Sebastian Loeb, who was uh, uh, involved in the new program with the GT and sport car, and as well uh, with McLaren in uh, FIA GT. So I would have, uh, I had a lot of contracts in my desk, but I didn't know what's going on. So then when I got the, the news from uh, Gary that if we could do uh, the, the things together, then definitely I wanted to come here because the challenge is so big, so different to Europe, and I really enjoy it. And even now, even if it's much harder than what I saw, I'm still really happy to be here and, you know, just to improve and, and uh, my mind is just to move forward. What, why do you think it is so, so, so difficult? I mean, we spoke to Elaine Menu years ago and he said these things are just so totally different to what we're driving. Why are they different? How, how are they so difficult to drive? Yeah, well, I think the cars are really different. Like all the drivers, they are seeing Jack Villeneuve or Menu or Yvon Muller, they drove all uh, this, this car. It's not about the gear level or the position uh, on, the, um, on the right. No, on the right, yeah. <laughs> so confused sometimes. It's not about that. It's that the car just more heavier. Uh, the, the um, amount of downforce is very low compared to DTM, sport car, uh, so it's very different. And I think the level in, in very supercar is really high. I, I, I never seen a, a so, a so highest level like this in motor racing in Europe. Maybe in DTM you have only 10 or 12 cars competing or uh, racing each other between uh, four or five states. Tens here, it's like 25 cars in six tens, so it's very different. Yeah. 
Yeah. One thing about it, a lot of people have said, well, why have you, you come out and all the rest of it? And I can see Gary Rogers is a very smart operator, and I'm thinking that the, the deal isn't necessarily just for this year. What's, what's your long-term view? How long have you signed with Gary? Yeah, well, it's a long term. Uh, it's not only for this year, so next year I will be there and maybe the year after. So. And, and that, of course, ties in with the car of the future, and that's yeah, why yeah, I think you've yeah, been very smart. Yeah, yeah, Do you think that this car of the future with its independent rear suspension, the transaxle, a much more, say, balanced car than the current one, do you think that that's going to sort of you know, come back to you and you're going to get that advantage again? Okay, well, it's a very really big question. Um, I think, yeah, like um, even David Reynolds tried the car yesterday in Winton and said, yeah, the car is completely different to drive. So I don't want to say that it would be better for me. I think it would be different for all the drivers. But the only things that I would, would like to say is that all drivers, all team would start from the, a white paper. So then we would start from zero. So then it would give me as well more confidence in the race or qualifying or, or yeah, for the events. And I'm sure that uh, everything will be much better uh, next year. And of course, the other thing about next year is you'll go back and you'll be more familiar with the tracks. I mean, <laughs> how different are the tracks for people who aren't familiar with racing in Europe? How different are the tracks here in Australia from what you're used to in racing in Europe at places like, well, OK, Le Mans is, a, is an extreme, <laughs> yeah. but let's talk about even places like, you know, Paul Ricard or Dijon or yeah, something like that. Yeah, 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 I know a lot of race track and... Um, I don't want to say here it's different to Europe or to America, but uh, you know, to, to learn the track is quite complicated. I think to learn a race track, like as a good driver, it takes only four or five laps, but to get at the limit of the track with the cars and with the tires, all these things, it takes more than one year going through this race track. So I think next year will be much better because I will be at the edge from the first lap in, the, in this race track. But after that, like when we run, like Eastern Creek was really good, Philip Island. Uh, Townsville, Hamilton, the street race is really good. After that, like Ipswich or Darwin, they are a bit tighter race track, but it's nice. I think for the fans, it's really good because it give, uh, give them much more attract, attraction for, for the race because all the cars, they are compact, so this is really good. Of course, as we said, after Sandown, which is a unique track in itself, yeah. you're going to probably the most European racetrack we've got in, in Bathurst. How much are you looking forward to racing at Bathurst? I'm looking forward a lot because for me, I think it's been like uh, the 500 of Indianapolis, Daytona, or like the 24th of Le Mans, 24th of Nürburgring. It's, it's, uh, it's from history, it's unique, it's magic. And uh, I think we will be really good there. And I'm really looking forward uh, to share my car with uh, Jack Perkins, I think, because uh, I think he's really good and he will give me uh, as well a lot of advice for, for the race. That's the interesting thing about Jack is he's very, very young, but he's also very experienced. Yeah, I mean, of course. Apart from his driving experience, he's grown up around those yeah. cars, so it's, it's, a very strong, it's a very strong combination. So when do, you, uh, when do you guys get hold of your car of the future? Do you know when that's on its way? Yeah, well, it's on the way, quite good. I think uh, we receive mostly all of the parts in, in the car, so now they are building the car. I think end of September or beginning of uh, October, I think will be really good. But you know, sometimes it takes a bit more longer. And like you say, like it's sundown, it's better. So we need to get prepared this, these two races as well, as well because we don't want to, to miss them. So we need to be concentrated in, to, in 2012 and as well in 2013. But we have to be very smart. And do you know who you're uh, going to be partnered with at the, at the Gold Coast as yet? No, I don't know yet. Uh, I gave a lot of names to, to Gary and... He is looking, but I don't know yet. I think he's in discussion with a really good drivers. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Is Simon coming back? Is he racing again? Sorry? Simon is coming back. Simon ah, yeah, he's there? coming back with Lee. He's coming back yeah, with so Lee. Yeah, so with SBR, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that was, that's a shame. Yeah, that's I'm sure, right. yeah. Got no well, I think last year he had a really good combination, a really good link as well with uh, Lee, and he wanted to, to go to go back with Lee because he had, Oh, last year he came, he, he got a podium with him, so I think he just wanted to, to keep on the, on the same loop. Do you think that we might see a lot more sort of uh, European drivers coming here? Because all the ones that we talked to have all got an interest in at least giving it a try. Do you think that you know, it might be a viable alternative that people might be looking at? Yeah, well, I think uh, since the last uh, three months, uh, we talk about a lot of drivers, they are looking about V8 Supercar, so... Uh, like Christian Klein has, uh, as well, so he's really looking forward for Bathurst and Sundown and I think if he's doing a good job maybe he will be uh, like a, a race driver next year or maybe Jack Vinner as well with Nissan, so we don't know but definitely there is more 
international driver who want to well, come we, here. We, we, we look forward to, uh, we look forward to, to seeing you in action at okay, Sandown right. on the weekend. Alex, thanks for joining us on In Pit Lane. Again, okay, thank you, Brett. And thank you to you at home. Now, we're, which one are we on? We should be on one. We'll see you next week on the program. We've got, uh, next week, we'll preview the Shannon's Nationals. We'll give you all the news from Sandown and live music from Melbourne Band Series. That's next week, live on In Pit Lane. Until then, thanks for joining us. Bye for now. go for a ride. <laughs> <sighs>